Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our AV8B and today we're looking at the autopilot. Well, I don't know if you can really call it a full autopilot, kind of a semi-autopilot. It's known as automatic flight control. It involves two switches. We've got this one here, AFC, with the options of AFC on, basically, in the up position, off and reset. And we've got altitude hold, which um, works in com in combination with the AFC, and that's off or on. So let's just look at the AFC without altitude hold. So without altitude hold, it is an attitude hold. Uh, that essentially means that we can keep the pitch and roll stable of the aircraft within certain parameters. Um, as with all auto autopilots, there are parameters. This will not work above uh, the attitude control. Will not work above Mach uh, 0 0.85, I think and the altitude will not work uh, below 5,000, sorry, 500 feet AGL. Right, so let's get started. So if, for instance, if we just wanted, without using the AFC, if we just wanted to hold, say 10 degrees, there's the 10 degree pitch line there, and there is our uh, path marker there. You can see that I've got all the hands off the stick completely, and it is rising up. Uh, so I wanted to stay at 10, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back, put it back at 10, and I'm going to turn my AFC on, right mouse button, and that's going to hold me now. It's going to adjust my uh, flight stick up and down, I think using my trim, to hold me there. Now, it will only work, it can only do so much, it can only use the stick, it cannot adjust the throttle like other autopilots. So I have to make sure I'm giving it enough throttle to keep high enough speed to ensure that it can uh, keep at 10 degrees. So if I came off the throttle now, and the uh, plane started to stall, then it would no longer be able to keep that 10 degrees anymore. So I have to keep enough throttle, that's just one thing to bear in mind. The next thing to show is that we can hold a basic and flat altitude hold. So let's just go back down. I'm going to use my control stick, I've put my control stick on, back to the centre there. So I can override the AFC with the control stick and or trim at any time. Uh, right, so you see that I did a big movement in the stick, I came down and that basically turned the AFC off. If, you, if I make too much of a pitch trim with my stick then it will cancel the AFC. Right, so let's turn it on, back on, and this time we're going to have autopilot hold as well, sorry, altitude hold as well. This time it's going to hold my attitude, but it's also going to hold, well, it's, my attitude is going to be overriven by the altitude uh, hold. So it's now going to hold me straight and level at 16,880 feet, basically. And again, if I'm going to pull back on the stick, I'm going to upset it it will turn off the altitude hold and it's turned off the AFC because I've overridden it with pitch stick. Next I'm going to show that we we have to be within certain limits to engage the altitude hold. So if I'm up here, way away from level, level is there, that's our path vector. If I'm up at 10 degrees and I try and put the altitude hold on, it, it will not go on. It's, I'm clicking the button and it physically will not go on. So that's that. And I'm going to go back down to zero. So I have to have it roughly level already for the button to be able to work. And now I'm going to turn it on again, AFC on, and now it works, and it's going to get me straight and level again. Right, the next thing to show is that we can hold the roll with the AFC. So we're going to turn altitude off. I'm going to put in, with my stick, 5 degrees of climb and, say, 45 degrees of roll. I'm going to ask the AFC to hold me there. And it's going to hold me at or just under five degrees uh, and it's going to hold me in this roll so at this point i can put it basically in a circle around a target and know that it's going to keep me climbing at five degrees and keep me at this roll of 30 degrees or whatever it worked out okay now what if i wanted to circle at a certain altitude well we're going to override it with pitch get it down here i'm going to get 30 degrees roll i'm going to get it roughly level in the center there I'm going to go AFC on, altitude hold on. Now it's going to keep me rolling 30 degrees to the right and it's going to keep me on the horizon line there and it's going to keep me altitude level. This way I can circle around a target or an airfield with my altitude being held at the same point. Now again at this point if I wish to use pitch, a pitch on the stick or trim on the stick it would override the altitude hold but what we can do uh, is use side trim or side stick. Uh, so I'm going to use some side trim now to level it out. And you can see on the controller at the bottom there, you can see my trim is the uh, is the uh, the white thing. Now, the best thing about this is that if I get it roughly in the centre, 
what it does is correct is basically takes control and snaps to the center so if i put it anywhere near the center in terms of roll it will keep me perfectly level doesn't sound much but that's actually a massive thing in a uh, uh, to have to have that automatic uh, pitch uh, automatic roll trim to zero and again if i can roll it out to the left with the uh, trim and it'll keep me going around in a left circle and it'll hold there at that altitude and that attitude then if i head back to the center with pit with the uh, trim sorry and get roughly near the center it will align me perfectly so that's really good stuff and it compensates you know if your web if your uh, aircraft is badly loaded asymmetrically unloaded one wing heavier than the other it will compensate for that and do all that trimming for you okay so i'm going to quickly show the controls because you don't want to be pressing those buttons every time uh, you're going to want to set some controls up and just type auto we've got automatic afc there's the button for that and there's the altitude uh, command for that that's all i've really got to say on that so if um you're in autopilot like this and suddenly you're jumped uh, by a combat plane and you have to jump into the combat all you have to do is pitch stick like that and that would automatically turn all of the autopilots off everything's gone back to neutral now and you're flying in full control uh, so yeah, so it's simple. It doesn't fly between waypoints or anything like that, but it's a pretty good, simple autopilot. Very useful. Um, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you later.